Hey everyone, Logan and Sam here. It is 2022 and there are a bunch of new Ryobi products. We're gonna talk about a couple of them today. So stay tuned. Welcome back everyone. So Logan and I are so excited for all the new tools that have been dropped by Ryobi. We're wanting to go all in and cover them all, but that's just, I mean, this would be a two hour video and you guys would probably fall asleep in the first 15 minutes. So we're just gonna highlight some of the things that we're excited about. So follow along. And I also want you guys to comment in the comments below what you guys are excited for the new 2022 catalog and what tools you're looking forward to. So. Logan, let's jump right into that. What do we got on top? First up, uh, they've broken it up into six bite size pieces and we're gonna go through it basically in order today. First up is their cleaning solutions and they're bragging 20 new cleaning solutions. Now, I don't think all of these are completely brand new tools, but there are some, some ones to highlight for sure. They went all in on some of these new vacuums. Some of it is redesigned. Some of it seems to be a brand new system or setup. So there are two different options as always, or most often with the Ryobi tools, you have it in a kit, which includes the battery and charger or the tool only. Now, they have now two different stick vacuums, uh, these new HP vacuums. Both are brushless. One is a single pet roller stick vacuum. The other is a dual roller bar stick vacuum. Yeah, for those like me that have cats that are the size of mountain lions, <laughs> I probably would go for the dual roller bar. Then they also came out with, this is brand new, is a wet dry hand vacuum. So oh, to add to their, awesome. their hand vacuum collection, we now have a one plus wet dry hand vac, which super excited for. They did also upgrade their standard stick vacuum. So that if you're counting is three stick vacuums now that they have and uh, looks like a, another complete redesign. Last up is probably what I am the most excited about is finally Ryobi has given us a 10 gallon 40 volt wet slash dry shop vac. So I have a shop vac that we use all the time and it isn't Ryobi. And the reason why is just because of the size. We have some of the smaller ones and they're great, but sometimes we need to clean up a job site or clean up a lot of wet, uh, material or something like that, the big 10 gallons are just so much better. So we're excited. Ryobi's finally, finally given us one. Hopefully it does suck really well, but we don't know. We won't know until we get it, but I'm excited about that. And I probably won't tell my wife about the, the, the pet dual cordless stick back. She'll probably want that too. Next up, we're going into the modular system and we are not going to spend a lot of time here because We've done a lot of videos on the modular system already. Definitely go check those out. We've got several on the channel and more coming soon. Yep. I've been uh, using my pack out probably every day. And I do wish that the roller, the bottom, big, large, it doesn't fit under my tenue cover. We won't, we'll, we'll talk about that in a later video. So more to come on that. Next up is the Whisper series. And this, this was actually a little bit of a surprise to me anyway, is how heavy they went into Whisper. I knew, yeah. I knew oh, their yeah. blowers, they were gonna go Whisper, but they did a lot more Whisper tools than I, than I had expected. Um, in fact- Whoa, Ghostbuster <laughs> pack. Look at that. Look how big those batteries are. Dude, <clears throat> so we'll, we'll get to that in a second. <laughs> All right, first up on the Whisper series. And again, this surprised me that they, not only did they bring out one 40 volt brushless HP 21 inch lawnmower, they brought two of them. Both are cross cut. They really, the only difference is one has smart track or the self propelled while the other is a push behind. So super cool. And really the only difference again that I can see 
is they shorten the light bar, like as far as being able to differentiate between the two. It's got a smaller light bar. Yeah, just just in case you want to mow at night. It's so quiet. You just I might as well just you know mow. During the night. I don't know if I, I can't say I've never mowed at my night, but it's probably pretty rare. Yeah, maybe they're thinking with that you've got to reduce the noise and the light. Maybe maybe that's what they're going for there. <laughs> this is, is as stealthy as possible. Ninja mode. Um, next up is the 17 inch carbon fiber shaft Ooh, string trimmer, which is that sweet. Sucker's light. I love my carbon fiber trimmer. The yeah, but that one's four times more powerful. So that one could cut wood and yours still can just barely <laughs> cut grass. That's true. <laughs> then you have the 40 volt HP 730 CFM backpack blower. And they've had a backpack blower before, but again, this one is now part of their whisper series. So I assume we're talking quieter, 60% more powerful. Are you Sweet. serious? That, that's Logan. Do not jump off the roof with that. Trying to think that the power of the air is going to keep you. <laughs> yeah, but that's like a Ghostbuster pack right there. That's legit. Then you've got the 650 CFM. If 730 is too much for you, you got the 650 Whisper Blower, the 600 CFM Whisper Blower. And then we get into some some weird ones where, again, I was kind of surprised at what the, where they're going here, but we have the Brushless Whisper 16 inch front tine tiller, which again, didn't know they were getting into the tillers. So that's no. cool. The 21 inch snow blower, Sam, you, uh, I think you've had a chance to use that one, haven't you? Yeah, it's super quiet. And the other thing that's crazy about it is it does a really good job. It's light. So I've, you know, I've liked it. I think it's good. It's definitely not the big snow blower. <laughs> <laughs> the big snow blower will eat that one for lunch but for most people where you're not getting on average of you know five feet of snow on the ground you know the residential it's perfect and then last up here we've got the 1500 psi 1 1.2 gallons per minute pressure washer so what i'm super excited i and i i think we need to do a pressure washer shootout at this point there's just so many oh, pressure yeah. washers i want to try out now but this one adds a whole nother dynamic because look now how we can take this anywhere. Is. Yeah, look how compact that is. It's crazy. And it's brushless I and it's battery. So we're not like the, the one I have is still I'm plugging it into the wall and yep. uh, it's great. I like it. There's some things I don't like. I wish it had more pressure, uh, but it's not nearly as compact. And we spend a lot of time in the summer in dirty environments, especially up at our cabin and stuff, then this is excellent. Just being able to be off the grid, so to speak, with battery power. The only thing with this is, is if there's a way to tie it up to a hopper, a water hopper or something is the only thing that I would want. Suck through all of our water. Yeah, put it, put it somehow. Because I, I assume, obviously, this one's going to tie to a hose, which which is great. At least you're getting rid of the, the power cable. So Yeah. Pretty cool there. So that's it for the uh, Whisper series. Shh. Next on to the OnePlus. And some of these, as you can see, they are uh, some redundancy here, HP brushless. So we're going to jump around and talk about a few of these. Again, not all of them. Uh, one of the first ones here, and again, just a unique tool, and Ryobi is famous for doing this. They have these one-off tools. We had, uh, what was the bolt cutter that was yeah. around for a year? Um, they have a lot of these, and I would, I would guess that this pruning shear is going to be around for maybe a year. So if you want a Ryobi One Plus pruning shear, go get it now, because I, I would guess next year you can't find those. So... There's going to be a couple of those in this list. Next one here, one-handed pruning reciprocating saw. Again, cool. Don't know how long. Super random. Was. Yeah. The the eight-inch cultivator. Again, they're getting into the cultivators. Cool. We got to till up some dirt. The new brushless easy clean power cleaner. And there's two different versions of this. In fact, there's three if you count the 40-volt version, but we'll get into those in a minute. Uh, before that, I want to talk about the brushless dethatcher aerator kit, which 
technically I think was on last year's video as well, and it's still not out yet. So I am looking forward to this one, but I'm, I, I think it should have been 40 volt. So I wonder if they are going to come out with a 40 volt uh, version of this, maybe potentially. One other one while we're here though, another whisper series that snuck into this list. I'm a chainsaw guy and I get so excited about all these chainsaws. <laughs> so this is the 18 volt brushless with a 12 inch bar, but it's the whisper series. So but it's a whisper. So it's quieter. It's going to be super quiet. A couple other on this list, these new automotive, they've got oh, yeah, an 80 the watt inverter. automotive power inverter and the 120 watt automotive power source. One of these has pure sign and I can't remember which one, but um, yeah, those are, those are pretty sweet. Those are available now, which is cool. New air strikes. This is pretty cool. Gauge and 16 gauge. Mm -hmm. Brad and finish. They don't have the framing nailer though. And oh, every year that. I keep wanting the framing nailer. And eventually, eventually they're gonna have it. Look at this hand cultivator kit. Again, if what? you want one of these, go get it now because that's not gonna be around next year. I'm just telling you right now. Well, and they have the a, a rotary hammer. You see that? Look at that sucker. It's a beast. You got to have that handle on there so you don't snap your wrist. So another one on technically a cleaning tool is this 600 PSI Easy Clean Power Cleaner Kit, which is freaking awesome. Um, can't wait to get my hands on one of those because we have the 320 PSI OnePlus version. Um, excited to see what the... 600 psi 18 volt and 40 volt versions are capable of doing yeah and the kids on the street say the 600 is way better this is another one that i want to try out just to try out is there they have a 18 volt and a 40 volt auger these these were announced with their hp line and i'm super excited to try one just we to need go to make try that holes. out oh it's if it, if it really can cut holes well that will be awesome on to the 40 volts hallelujah i've i've loved what they've been doing with 40 volts by the way Just, they're going crazy with 40 volt like it's it's insane what they're doing first up they do have a new backpack sprayer and i i, I have a <laughs> i have a special place in my heart for the backpack chemical sprayer because uh. we've had um I can't, I can't remember his name, but we'll put it up here. Uh, requested that to be a video for a while and I finally did it. And so, um, but it was 18 volts. So this one, this is a 40 volt backpack, four gallon chemical sprayer. So not only do you have four gallons of water on your back or chemicals, now you got a 40 volt battery and those things are not getting any lighter. But Well, dude, uh, I mean, we have like a, a five acre piece of thistles that we could go spray with it but that's yeah that's crazy we could do it obviously their quick charger we've talked about that freaking amazing yeah they're dual quick chargers awesome oh man love it they've got uh we already talked about the 1500 psi 40 volt pressure washer again another cultivator you got the 18 inch <clears throat> rear tine tiller this time so, I mean, this, again, this is, this is bordering like gas powered when you, when you get up to this size, um, they have the 40 volt front tine. This is the 16 inch. So what, what are we up to now? Four, uh, you know, different tillers. So oh, yeah, there's a little edger. I guess you could count the that nine inch edger. And this is another one where this is a first, so it's HP brushless and it's an, it's, it's a self-contained edger. Look at that sucker. How so, heavy is that going to be? The this is going power. to be a beast. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. You, you you got two handles for a reason. Like they're heavy on, like the other ones are heavy with the 18 volts. Now you got this massive 40 volt. So I'm, I'm skeptical, but is super excited for this one. Brushless power cleaner. Super excited. I'm skipping that one for a second. We'll go down. We already did the whisper blower. We've done the whisper blower here and the whisper string trimmer but this one i want to spend some some time on this one because this is the 40 volt backpack power supply and charger 
<laughs> what? This is, this is the most random idea and that I, I mean, can think of. Like, I, it's I'm just, loving like, every minute of this, but what? Seriously. So, so now you have a backpack that we put our batteries in because we're 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 crazy and we go hike a mountain chain sign. That's true. We do. And you Is charge dirt, up dirt biking. Yeah. So you can charge them up right here. It even has a little USB. You can charge something else, I guess, your phone as you're going. It seems, looks like a decent little backpack, right? So there's the there's it off the backpack and it can charge four batteries it looks like it's unclear where that fourth battery is or if this is a battery that's that's what i wasn't positive of if the you know there's three here and i i guess there's a battery in here maybe I'm not, yeah. I'm not it looks super it, sure. for it to be that big you would think it is and then have 40 volt lithium on there you're i'm assuming that's correct i would assume so but look at this <laughs> look at this guy dude this is us yeah look at, this. <laughs> look at that endless amount of power it's like i think you'll run out of physical gas no pun intended before you'll run out of battery power this is it right here this this I picture mean, i just I, I just sat there and was just smiling ear to ear for oh, so the man. hard part is is how we can test out how long that is i mean we have plenty of wood to cut we're just gonna sit there and cut for days for, i mean for eight hours straight and then oh, you'll just man. be like load me up and i'll just put and, other battery packs in and you just keep going and we haven't even gotten to the best part yet which we'll get there in a second but yeah even with the seven and a half amp hour batteries can you imagine how long we'd run we'd, we'd be there forever like all day I, I i all day with three seven amp hour batteries in here and whatever that's holding right there i get i'm assuming about a six amp or you know something that looks like that yeah Anyway, there it is. The, that I mean, that one, that one's crazy. I'm guessing that's gonna be just a maybe a year or two model. Not gonna be hit. Not gonna be for the main catalog. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not sticking around. Again, we got the eight inch uh, auger kit. So that's the auger. They came out with a new ice auger. Is Again, it just a different blade. I like I mean, or auger. Yeah. Right there? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a whole different uh, bit. You call them yeah. bits when they're that big. I don't know. The dual rapid charger, freaking awesome. <gasps> Eight amp hour battery. Look at that sucker. How's Eight that going to- Eight amp hour battery. Freaking massive. And I, I commented on the- on some of the battery <clears throat> compartments because they were getting bigger and like they, they stopped making them compartments and started making them open bottomed. I was like, this is just so they can make them bigger. Well, just just wait. 12 what? amp hour battery with a strap because you know Dude, that's, that's so going to be so heavy. Like the, the, the six amp and the seven and a half amp is already heavy. It's, it's my it's whole like, hand. Like, yeah, you can, I can only like, when I go to pick them up, it's kind of like you can only have a few in your, your arms. In your hands. Yeah. Well, now you can carry a whole bunch. Dude, so imagine cost 500 bucks this backpack <laughs> full of 12 amps 12 amp hour batteries we'll be out there for two three days you won't see me i'm just gonna be just it's just cutting down. through tree mowing things down look at that oh, sucker. Man. you're gonna need the backpack X. for that yeah six, six x times time. than a two the, amp. the two amp crazy crazy so that's i think that's it for the 40 volts Obviously, the two-stage snowblower. Oh, yeah. We've got that in the works coming soon. Uh, six amp, seven point five. Back to HP. Uh, now and again, we've covered a lot of the HP. There's a lot of those new ones that we cover today. We also have uh, on their compact series. We actually have every single one of their compact series. So go check out those videos um because they're compact i actually really like their compact tools you haven't had a chance to try them but they're no they're pretty sweet all right last up bonus surprise this is crazy there, guys <laughs> this are... is crazy i i they're they're going crazy with these there's there's two there's actually two new ones um and i'm going to take the one that's less exciting first 
just because oh this, this is just just because I'm excited about this one. 2700 PSI. Like again, Sam and I were talking about this. This is bordering on again the gas powered. Like we're we're starting to creep into what is considered where you would say, well, that's gas power rated. And what I mean by that is when you have the surface cleaners, a lot of the surface cleaners are rated so that the electrics are in one category and the gas powered are in another category. This starts to bridge that gap. 2700 starts to put it into a gas powered tier. So I am incredibly excited for this. I cannot wait to get our hands on one of these because if this can start to run the gas powered accessories, uh, again, game changer. Oh so. yeah. And it looks like they're integrating the hose and the plug in a smarter way than they've done on some of their other ones. So yeah, that's going to be awesome. Yep. Yep. Super excited for that. All right. And now for the best for last. Um, and and you were joking about how big the 12 amp battery is. Well, these have a much, much bigger battery. Dude. Dude, I was, I was talking with Lo <laughs> Logan. It's like we just didn't. We got to start a lawn mowing company just so we can afford to buy one of these suckers. Look at those! Not one, not two, three, three. new riding lawn mowers that are eighty volt. Like what? And they're all zero turn. It's got the joysticks for yep. easy maneuvering. And <sighs> and this is. This is where it gets crazy. Look, look at those. those. Look at those battery packs. Oh my okay. gosh. And and what you don't see or what you may not be drawn your eye to, 40 volt. They're 40 volt compatible as well. So they work off the 40 volt batteries or can in addition to your 80 volts. So if you're guys like us with more 40 way, volt batteries than we know what more, to do with. Too many. <laughs> You can uh, think of those packs. Like if they're already making those packs, that means like there's all sorts of cool things that we can speculate on of being built, like generators type stuff. And what about solar panels? Solar you know, you panels got battery backups stuff. now for your solar panels. And oh man, yeah. The the I I I have said for years that a table saw would be sweet if it was battery powered. Boom. Oh my gosh. That, that'll push it. Like that, that's huge. That'll push a, a tables. I mean, we had that, that chop saw that was amazing using 18 oh, volt. I'd go all day using it and it still wouldn't burn through a, a standard four amp battery. It was crazy. Yep. I, I think they've got more in the works. I hope, I hope they have more in the works when it comes to these 80 volts. Dude, that's look at three packs of them. And 40 volts on the side, 30, 42, 54. They're all dual blade chargers. They have USB cup holders, of course, you know. I mean, you got to have your, your cool, <laughs> cool drink on there. And of course, lights to mow at night. Love it, love it, love it. 80 Holy volt. Wow, that's crazy. So now... We were talking about this. You've got your eight volt, your 12 volt, your 18 volt, your 40 volt, 80 volt, and then your link system. When are they going to slow down? Hopefully when does never. this stop? <laughs> so if you guys need to click on more of our ads or buy t-shirts from us so that we can buy one of these because this is a bit out, probably going to be a bit out of our, our little price range for <laughs> normal pricing for the normal tools we, it may we not at. stop us getting one because they're so cool but we may have to work at a 7-eleven at night to pay for it to go to go pick one of these bad boys up that's just crazy look at those i mean so my lawn's not awesome. big enough like for that <laughs> you go up and down and then up, uh, uh, uh. it just uh. jeez oh man that's awesome 2022 lots of new stuff hopefully we actually get it in 2022 oh, and yeah. aren't looking at these again in 2023 but cleaning solutions modular system whisper series 18 volt 40 volt 80 volt and the new hp line that has run rampant through the tools uh is just amazing 
Yeah, and I want to know, guys, what you would get first, because Logan and I have got this list, and we don't know exactly what we're going to get first. But list. <laughs> list. I'm looking at it now, and it's I have to scroll down. It's so big on my screen. So comment below what you would get first. We want to know. And as always, if you guys love Ryobi Tools, hit the subscription button, like and share our videos. And thanks for watching. See you next time. See ya. In fact, all of these, all of these are coming soon. Yeah. Well, <laughs> they don't even know. We don't even know yet. Hasselhoff. 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 Three. And thanks for watching. Unless Logan wanted to add more to that. <laughs> oh, you, you got it. Because we didn't even talk about something like that hybrid LED floodlight. Dude, they're, they're lights. And, that, and that's kind of why I...